Hello guys, this is James and you are watching Let's Architecture. In today's video, I will show you how to create a 3D rain effect, just like this. So if you would like to know how to do this, then stay tuned and let's architecture. Some of you may already recognize this uh, work from one of my previous videos where I did a breakdown of this scene and I show you how I basically took this basic photo uh, with this bare render and how I converted it into this. So if you want to um, see that video, the link would be in the description. But today uh, I will focus on this rain. Many of you have sent me messages uh, saying uh, that you would like to know how I created this 3D rain effect and as requested, I will show you. So here is a small reference board that um, I created just to get uh, the overall feel and references for um, my work really, basically in here you can see the the main aspects that I, I would want to incorporate in my work and um, I really like this um, photo because it really created this 3d effect of rain and actually it gave this illusion of actually being there so um, as you can see uh, because the rain it's well it is 3d some droplets that are further away uh, they are in focus therefore they are really small and detailed and other drops that are closer to you and almost in your face they're really big and blurred so that was the effect that i was kind of going for and um, if you were to look at this image you basically can see uh, a lot of different rain uh, there's these, uh, there's this um, really fine uh, rain, and then you have uh, bigger rain, like bigger droplets, and then uh, even bigger droplets, and then like these giant droplets almost. And basically, I will show you how to create that because it's actually really, really simple. So let's hide this image and just focus on the rain. In here, you can see the same stuff uh, where uh, you have this really fine rain and then it kind of increases. And as the droplets increase, they get blurrier. So um, let's just build it in layers. The first layer is this far layer. And you can see a really fine uh, rain. How to create this? It's well, it's actually very, very simple to create it. So what you do is you create a new layer, fill it with white, and then you go to filter, noise, add noise. So again, filter, noise, add noise. And then you basically have this menu and for some of you uh, you might get this colorful image and uh, to get rid of that just click this monochromatic uh, just to get there and basically yeah you just get your noise and you can play with uh, the amount uh, I would I would put about 300 kind of works fine you click OK and now you well you get this noise picture and then you go to filter blur gallery and you get this path blur so again filter blur gallery path blur and you can see you get this kind of gizmo really and by turning your um, 
arrow point, you basically set the directionality in which your image blurs. And you can also, if you click, yeah, you could also slide, slide it so it would get blurred less or more. Once you're happy, just click OK. And yeah, so you get this effect. But it's, well, it's opaque. I mean, it's not actually opaque, it's actually solid. So to make it translucent, um, you, sh you, well, it really depends on your background image. So you have to kind of play about with your uh, effects, but I usually go to hard light. It kind of works fine with me. So yeah, basically go to normal and hard light. And then uh, you can, well, it, it's quite strong. So I'll probably uh, change the opacity a bit to about 20. And I would also, um, give it a bit more randomness. So if you go uh, to your layer and then you click this mask icon, you can start giving it a bit more randomness. Just, just a bit patchy, you know, cause rain, it, it is uniform, but it just it would just look a bit too fake if if it was completely uniform so so yeah just give it a bit of go with that and yeah so that's how i created this basic layer then the next layer is this well more uh, rainy effect where you could actually see individual droplets. This is actually really simple. You just go to um, Google and type rain PNG. And once you actually find the photo that you like, just uh, change uh, the overlay mode to lighten or screen. No, actually lighten, lighten, lighten works better. And you basically have your rain effect, your rain droplets. Yeah, you can also stretch it. That works. Because, um, well, it's, it's quite blurred anyway. And you could use a patch tool, change your opacity a bit. And yeah, that's how you get your second layer um, and then from there on it's simply uh, well let's look at these two um, you can go you, you go to edit transform skew just make sure that um, your directionality matches your previous direction so yeah just go to there and maybe screen to help you see that uh, yeah and once you're happy go to filter blur no blur gallery and field blur and just apply nice blur to it something like that and then change the opacity and that's it yeah so that's it um, these are bigger um, blobs drops if you if you want to know um, again um, just go and 
create like a sort of this shape rotator filter blur gallery uh, you could path blur it and then filter blur gallery field blur it That's it, and you could also maybe erase a bit of it so it doesn't look as uniform. So that's pretty much how I created this 3D rain effect. You can see it's not really hard, and uh, it's just a matter of uh, layering your uh, photos. Uh, well, your reference photos and uh, your droplets and just use the rule that the further the rain uh, the finer it is and the more defined and the closer it is the more blurred it is if you learned something today then please um, hit that like button subscribe for more if you like what I'm doing and if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, whatever, uh, or if you just want to chat, uh, you can send me a message from Facebook and I will definitely reply to you within 24 hours. I'm not sure what the next video will be on. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, then yes, please uh, leave them in the comments below. Um, but there is definitely going to be a new video. So uh, if you want to see anything specific, then yeah mention it mention it to me otherwise thank you for watching this was james I'll see you next week and let's architecture